Hey guys, it's Alyssa from Fangirlish, and in case you missed any of the action from Tuesday's finale of Hard Knocks, I've got you covered. The preseason has come to an end, Hard Knocks ripped out my heart, and, spoiler alert, the Browns finally earned their stripes. Here's everything I learned from the season finale of Hard Knocks training camp with the Cleveland Browns. Number one, disclaimer, I already knew about the roster cuts, I knew of the impending heartbreak, but it didn't make it any less painful. Number two, the question isn't if Michael Kendricks is making the team, so much as it's, is Michael Kendricks going to jail? Number three, I knew getting emotionally invested in Devin Conjuice was only going to end in heartbreak, and yet I did it. Every damn year. Number four, so there's a church behind the Browns facility, so I guess even prayer can't save the Browns. Number five, Todd Haley watching Christian Kirksey dance, it's like he's discovered a unicorn. Number six, Miles Garrett is the kind of defensive player and leader that you build your franchise around. Number seven, Todd Haley wants to make it perfectly clear that he's not a dick. Number eight, the amount of focus on Brogan Roback this season has been startling. Number nine, Bob Wiley has never had a real job. So what are flying airplanes and coaching football? High-paying hobbies? Number 10, Devin Kiju's father couldn't make it to his fourth preseason game. Devin's father wanted to do their special whistle so that his son knew that he was there. Someone sedate me. Number 11, ah, Ford Field. Some good memories in that stadium. But not so many good recent memories for this Bears fan. Hoping to change that. Number 12, hey Baker, they're not rocks. They're crystals. Respect the crystals, man. Number 13, ah, so we've arrived to the most meaningless of the meaningless preseason games, the fourth and final meaningless preseason game. Who else is ready to start the regular season already? Number 14, damn it, the Crystals are also a Kajust family thing. Number 15, I think Baker Mayfield spoke for us all when he said, give the quarterback some damn time to throw the ball and good things will happen. Number 16, can someone make a movie about Devin Kajust's life? Just make this one have a happy ending, please. Number 17, everyone on this damn team and their mother wants Devin Kajus to succeed and make this team. Why don't you, Browns? Number 18, I used to say that I'd love to watch the Bears on Hard Knocks, but if I'm reacting this way with the damn Browns, how the hell would I act if it were my Bears? Number 19, Todd Haley might be obsessed with Carl Nassib. It's okay, Todd. We all are. Number 20, so Matt Castle's still a thing in the NFL? Who knew? Number 21, Nate Orchard gets the epic instrumental music as he runs back a pick six. That's a good sign, right? Right? Number 22, to be fair, Nate, I'd also need oxygen if I had to run back 64 yards. Or maybe just 20. Number 23, dear God, I will not miss the corny puns on this show. Number 24, there was a surrender cobra spotted on the Lions' sideline. Someone tell this guy it's preseason. Number 25, fun fact... Did you know the Lions had a perfect season in 2008? 0-16. Good times. Number 26. Broken Roback's girlfriend watching him play in this preseason game is me every time I watch my Bears. Unintelligible, shrill scream and all. Number 27. Also, Roback's girlfriend talking to thin air is like me yelling at my television as if these people can hear me from 2,000 miles away. Number 28. Brogan language. Someone's been hanging out with Todd Haley and Greg Williams a little much. Number 29, Broken Roback's girlfriend, Allie, asking, why am I crying? That is the question I'll be asking when the Bears inevitably win a Super Bowl, only I'll know why I'm crying, and I'll cry forever. Number 30, Allie Goff telling Broken Roback how proud she is and crying is the cutest thing. Damn it, they're cute. Number 31, we now bring you to the depressing part of our program, roster cuts. Number 32, just tell me Moose doesn't get cut. That's all I care about. Number 33, and our first cut, Brogan Robeck. Damn it, just when I was starting to care. Number 34, and down goes Devin Kajus. Damn, this shit sucks. Number 35, why do the players walk out with their stuff in garbage bags? Can't this billion dollar organization afford actual bags for the players they cut? Number 36, the Khalil Mack trade made hard knocks. Everyone is obsessed, not just me. News of the year, yeah it is. Number 37. Come on, Cleveland. Don't act like you weren't interested in Khalil Mack. Everyone was. 
except maybe the Raiders. Number 38, there's two players on the field that you pay handsomely, the quarterbacks and the guys that hit the quarterbacks. Number 39, oh my God, the pain on Orchard's face. He's been there for three years. I need to hug Moose. Number 40, everything is so much more painful when it's personal. Thank you fucking much, Hard Knocks. Number 41, tell me the Browns didn't cut the star of their training camp. How will they ever get the financial advice they deserve? Number 42, well, it appears as if the Bucks will get the financial advice they deserve. NASA's heading to Tampa. Number 43, Baker Mayfield's getting called into the office. Don't worry, he's not getting cut. Just being in the backup. Duh. Number 44, the Browns players finally earned their stripes. <laughs> Why is this shit emotional? Number 45, I'm torn because part of me wants the Browns to be good, but then the other part of me doesn't know how to exist in a world where the Browns do not suck. Help. Number 46. Can you imagine if I was watching the Bears on Hard Knocks? I would be full on sobbing. Number 47. While I'm sad that Hard Knocks is over, I am fucking pumped for the regular season. Let's go. And number 48. Good luck to the Browns this season. Just not too much luck. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos throughout the 2018 NFL season. Thanks for watching.